Hello, welcome to Shusha's Kitchen. Today's recipe is malfouf. It's stuffed cabbage. It's a nice alternative to vine leaves. It doesn't have the pressure of rolling uh, and perfecting the leaves. For those of you who don't know, we judge each other in a nice way on who can roll the leaves best as a sign of talent. But today's recipe, the malfouf or the stuffed cabbage, it's easier and simpler to roll. It's vegan, it's tasty, and it's perfect for winter months. Thank you so much. I'm using large cabbage. It's easier to roll. I'm using uh, Egyptian rice or the short grain rice and lots of herbs. Tomato, parsley, mint, uh, spring onion and chili, lemon juice, uh, lots of garlic, olive oil, and some spice. The spice I'm using here is all spice, black pepper, and a little bit of cinnamon. And of course, we're using salt, salt and lemon. Basically, it's stuffing the cabbage with tabbouleh, but instead of the bulgur, we use rice. It needs lots of vegetables here. We have to wash the rice several times to get rid of the starch and then soak it for about one hour and it will be ready to use. I've done that already. And then we have to cut the malfouf. I'll show you easy way. Malfouf, it means cabbage in Arabic. So I'll show you easy way to cut it. We need to cut uh, this part, the hard part. This part, we don't need it just tiny press them so it will be easy to get off the leaves like it will come really easy come off really easy we can cut it also we cut the stalk and we'll, we'll recycle it we can use it for salad and we will put it as a bed and the pot, you know, for the malfouf. Now we finished the, uh, you know, taking off the leaves. We leave the heart bit uh, of the cabbage, as I said, to make salads for later on. Put it aside. And then we start with the heart bit. I have here a boiling, uh, water. We need to soften the uh, the leaves before we roll them. So we start with the hard one first. Drop them in the boiling water. As you see, I always cook a lot. You don't you don't have to do that. Leave them for a couple of minutes when start boiling and every time we check them just to see if they are soft enough. I think yeah because there are a lot so just we check them I think it's good. Let's just flip it on the other side. On a colander we'll sieve them. Now we'll do the rest of them, same way. As I say, we'll do the inside uh, leaves first because they're harder, and then we'll do the, the out one, the outside one. It's quite harder. I'll check, now it's soft. Make sure all of them, they're cooked evenly. It needs like time to, to prep, but once everything is ready to roll, uh, we'll, we'll put them in the pot and then uh, you don't need to do anything, just leave them on, on the heat and you know, it will be cooked. Now it's done, the, uh, the leaves. It's soft enough, we'll leave them just for a few minutes, you don't want to burn your hands, and we'll come back. Now it's time to 
to mix the, uh, the stuffing. Now we have the rice. Uh, I drained off the water. You don't need any water, just the rice. And we'll add parsley. As I said, a good amount of parsley. Mint, spring onion. The spring onion, I use the whole onion, even the green part. And some chili. I'm using the long chili, the long green one, and tomato. I pound the garlic really well. And then I'll add them. Allspice. Some cinnamon. Black pepper. And salt. Good amount of lemon juice and pomegranate molasses. It will give a very nice taste to the dish. And olive oil. And we'll mix them very well. Now the stuffing is ready. Uh, in the pot, a large pot, we'll put olive oil and we'll lay the stove. We haven't boiled them, this one. It should be like white hard. So I just break them to just put, make, make like a bed for the, uh, for the stuffing leaves to come. This bed will prevent the leaves from uh, burning because we don't know what's gonna happen, you know, inside here because we don't know what's, what's going on when we're cooking them. Now we'll do the stuffing. We'll choose the nice side to be like outside and just like a small amount. This part is quite hard, so I'll take it off and then we start rolling them. You can make them the size you like again. I would make like five, ten, and then start dropping them in the pot. It will be easier to line them up. This is quite big, so we can cut it into two. You can roll them any, any way you like, it's, it's fine. And now we start placing them. And as you place them, just a little bit of push, just to make sure they stay in their place. And halfway through, just we'll have like half garlic. Place them in between uh, the malfouf, the cabbage. Try to lay them parallel. If you see it's like want to open, it's open. Just you can add more of the, uh, the leaves. That's the beauty of the cabbage. You can play around with it. And the left over, the one we cut them already, can just lay them also. They're still very tasty. And now we'll add all the remaining liquids. Just we'll serve it first. And this, you don't need to throw it away. I mean, you can stuff vine leaves with it or you can stuff anything. It's, it's still really good here, olive oil, lemon juice, more of the pomegranate molasses, and salt. Turn on the heat and we should like a little bit cover the vegetables and I need to put a heavy plate to, pl uh, to keep them in their place. So I'll put the plate 
and also to make sure a heavy uh, weight on top and we'll cover it. It should be on a medium heat. We'll leave it for 45 minutes and then we'll come back. Now start boiling. You can see lots of uh, liquids comes out of the, uh, the stuffing. Now it's absorbed or the liquid, so it's ready to flip it over. It's been about one hour and 10 minutes. You have to be really careful when you flip it. Yogurt will really pair nicely with the, with the malfouf or the uh, stuffed cabbage. Enjoy this dish and let me know down below of you what you think. Thank you so much.